What's up guys? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Asphalt. I know it's been a minute. It's been a while. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've been doing today. We just want to give you a quick update on the street stock stuff. So uh, last time we was together, you seen Bittersweet got beat up pretty bad. But uh, let me show you what Jimmy Garmin, the ace in the holes, done for us. And put a whole new quarter panels tail, rear deck lid on it. Got it looking good, didn't he, Fred? Hey, Fred, you rolling. We uh, getting ready for, we got a few races coming up, so we getting ready for a little throwback scheme. Me being part of the Cars Tour now, I wanted to participate in the Hooters Pro Cup throwback. So that's what we're doing now, taking everything, taking the orange wrap off. So. Tell everybody what we've been doing here lately, Fred. Been cars touring up galore. Yep. You even went with me to Caraway. That's what they're going to be watching today. What do you think about it? We got about two and a half hours of sleep by the time we got home from uh, what is it, whatever county, North Carolina that is. So went to work two and a half hours of sleep. How was that? Rough. That rough, rough on the man, rough. wasn't it? Yeah. Then what, two days later, we had one of our uh, street stock tour races to, that we're all promoting, the GXS street stock. So, uh, yeah. You know, you've been uh, running on fumes there for a while, so glad to get a little sleep. Mm -hmm. But what you think about the job Jimmy did? That's, I mean, they did a phenomenal one. Done a good job on it now. Yes. A1, huh? Yep. That's all he ever does. Back like she was. Even better. Mm -hmm. But our next race will be July 15th at Fast Franklin County Speedway in Virginia going up to Langley Austin's place, get a little Buck Wild. So uh, if you're looking for some fun after you watch this video, YouTube search Buck Wild, Franklin County Speedway. It'll keep you entertained for a while. But uh, that'll be Saturday, July 15th, Thousand to Win Street Stock Race. We'll be back with, uh, with Bittersweet back racing. But I want y'all to watch today. Uh, ones of you that have watched or watched a lot of YouTube stuff, Landon Huffman, who's also a racing YouTuber, is on the car <laughs> store, and that's the vlog that I've been doing. If you hadn't watched, you'll get to watch today, but go over to the Car Store page and subscribe to that page as well so you can keep up with those vlogs that I'm doing over there. Yeah. But I want y'all to check out what I've been doing. Uh, while we haven't been making a whole bunch of kicking asphalt stuff since uh, since the Tri-County race, but we've been Car Store galore in it. So uh, all over Virginia and halfway of North Carolina. So the, the schedule really heated up so it didn't leave a lot of time for street stock stuff. But I want y'all to be able to watch one today. So let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another Cars Tour Vlog episode. We're at Caraway Speedway for a midweek Wednesday night show. Got a big cup driver racing with us tonight. Kyle Larson's going to be in the field. So uh, looking forward to a great night, 125 laps of, uh, of action. The Pro Lake models are back with us this week. Uh, Landon Huffman is the uh, feature tour and 12 driver this week. So uh, should be a good time with him. He's got a good YouTube following. So glad to have him on the Cars Tour. But uh, let's get started. I'm excited you're here today, Boo.
Time for the driver's meeting, Jack. Gotta fire the horn off. Wake County, you'll push around as you've been doing. First, you will line up, we will line you up. We're going to be jammed up here. So if I'm out there and I'm motioning. Well, it's that time of the week where we go do the question of the week. These things are getting real popular. So uh, let's dive right in. We got some pro drivers today with the Lake Mall Stock guys. So uh, let's see what we'll come up with. What was the biggest waste of money that you do regret spending? Probably like some high dollar just stupid clothes or something something i thought looked cool and then i'm like man i don't want to wear that right spent spent too much money on like shoes or something i did that you know when i in, when i was kind of a teenager and it's a waste of money probably ever getting into racing everybody here probably say the same thing though we can all be at the lake right now probably snap on tools uh i'm a mechanic and that's what i do my day job so uh there's a lot of other brands that have the same tools and most of the time it's pretty much the same quality and they're probably 10 times as cheap so you're buying the name at that point but I do like it so it's not all tools. <laughs> I'm frugal. I'm real frugal but I would say uh, the other day I accidentally fell in love with this pantsuit, checked out, never looked at the tag and it was almost 400 bucks. And I was just, I was sweating like I am right now at that register. Sort of regret. <laughs> Honestly, there was one time in high school when I was playing basketball. Thought I spent a lot of my money on uh, some nice Nike sneakers for senior year, and they last about eight games. And uh, blew them out. Just nothing left of them. And it wasn't like I was working that hard because, you know, I, I was good, but I wasn't that good. <laughs> it has to be a boat. The only day that you remember is a good day with your boat is the first day and the last day. And that is very true. Huh. Uh, does fishing count because I don't have time for it anymore? Um, I bought a pair of $200 jeans just to get holes in them and cow poop all over them. So. Well, other than racing, probably sneakers. When I was younger, I used to get, you know, I was, I was quite the sneaker head. Uh, I used to love some tennis shoes from Nike and Adidas. So probably that. I wish I would have put it towards racing though. I don't know if my wife's gonna agree with me on this, but it definitely have to be a house now that I'm moving after one year. Uh, a pair of Oakley sunglasses, paid like 254 at the beach uh, and lost them within six hours. That's why I have Shady Rays now for 50 bucks. I'd say the biggest thing is going to be in my truck with 270,000 miles. I mean, it's not really a waste, but I do spend way too much money on clothes. Well, the more I think about it, I was going to say video games because I'll play one and then an hour later I'm on to something else, but uh, probably eating out. I mean, that's a good one the more I think about it because we spent a lot of money eating out and I'm like, dang, we could have saved that money, but fat boys like to eat. A pair of golden pooses. If you don't know what they are, just look them up. Uh, about five or six years ago, um, NTS Motorsports was shutting down and Brennan Newberry uh, was selling his iRacing rig. And so I decided that I, he contacted me seeing if I wanted it. And uh, I told him, yeah. And uh, I have yet to ever use it. Uh, obviously, I get on iRacing all the time, but not using that simulator. So uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, that would probably have to be it for me. It wasn't a whole lot of money, but a lot of headache. I bought a 87 Pontiac Fiero. <laughs> Thought it was the coolest, ra uh, coolest not race car, coolest car I've ever had. I liked it because mid-engine car. I think sucked. And uh, couldn't ever get it running. Spent money on it trying to get it running. And then I ended up selling it for less than I paid for it originally. So probably that, 87 Pontiac Fiero. Well, that was some good answers. A fun time as always with the question of the week. So uh, if you got any suggestions, let us know in the comments below what you think the question of the week should be. But uh, it's time to go qualify now with Landon Huffman.
man, the qualifying's up next, man. This is your first time here. Well, what kind of experience have you, you know, figured out in practice that you can carry into qualifying? Well, yesterday we sucked pretty bad. Uh, we made a lot of changes, and we're, I feel like we're really good right now. Pretty confident we're a top 10 car. I think we were seventh overall in practice after our mock run, and driver screwed up the second lap, drove her across the curb down here in three and four. So I feel like we probably should have been a little bit better than that. It's been by far probably the most, uh, the best we've been. <laughs> God, somebody over there's <laughs> <sales. laughs> <laughs> I think we're. <laughs> so I feel pretty confident. Our auto's by Nelson number 22. Happy to have Castrol on board this weekend, a uh, special weekend for them. And uh, yeah, first time here at this place. It's a nice beer joint. I like it. It's different. We were just talking about how it's kind of down in a little bit of a hole. I like the way the grandstands are. It's a fun little racetrack, long straightaways, tight corners. So it should be pretty racy. Let's see what we can uh, do here in qualifying, give us a good starting spot for tonight. Well, he put up the back tires pretty good coming off the turn number two. They talked Landing time then, 19th, man. Tell us about your qualifying run. Uh, we were tight, which really, really we backed up exactly what we ran in practice in our mock run. So my last lap, I felt like it was going to be better. It was better, but I felt like it should have been a little bit a little bit better than it was. So a 10th, I think, puts us like 8th or ninth. So it's close as usual from, you know, 3rd, 4th to 20th. So not what we wanted, but I feel like we got a decent car for the race. So we got good ways to go. It's starting on the bottom, so hopefully that helps us. With these curbs that they got in the corners, they're notorious for uh, popping it and shooting you up the track. Do you a little extra careful getting in the corners with these curbs? Yeah, they suck. I already hit one. I hit one in my mock run, so I felt like I should have been better there. Um, we didn't hit it in qualifying. Hopefully we stay off of it in the race, because if you hit it in the race door to door with somebody, it's going to be big. Before he gets 
Time to go 125 lap race with Landon Huffman rolling off P19. Got a little work to do, but we'll try to put on a show regardless. Starting in 19th spot, driving the number 22, autos by Nelson Chevrolet out of Claremont, North Carolina, Landon Huffman. <laughs> Race fans, in honor of racing on a Wednesday night and this great crowd at Caraway Speedway, I'd like to ask all of you to stand and say the most famous words in motorsports together. On three, race fans, one, two, three, drivers, start your engine. time in his career into the KRC power steering start zone 125 laps here at Car <laughs>
break stayed like it was starting going before the last time. I was trying to be cognizant of it. Yeah. Landon had a top 10 run going there at the end. It just started going backwards. What happened? Uh, we lost brakes like the last probably, I don't know, five laps. Five, five to 10, it started going away, but the last five shoes to the floor. Uh, that's just product of tight race car. I mean, we were tight late center, initial throttle pretty much all night. Having to guard entry free in and then just fighting that tight to the middle. I could get off the bottom, but um, you know, having all that wheel in it late center, when you go back to the throttle, just buzzing the rears. But not what we wanted. Cars in one piece, not tore up. Probably should have finished there at the end, like you said, maybe 10th to 12th, somewhere around there. Ended up 14th. So. So live to survive and uh, move on to another week. Got a month off for the tour. Back at South Boston with it, uh, with these guys for the first leg of Triple Crown this weekend. You feel like the program's moved forward since you've been over here since your first race? We're not missing shows, <laughs> so I would I would say that we've gotten better. Um, still got a long ways to go, but at least we're you know able to race in the midfield right now. I felt like you know we got to get better the first day that we're here on Friday. That's where we're struggling. We unload and we're just struggling there, but. We're making progress. We're getting better. Still fresh, you know, fresh with these guys. It's all new group and, um, you know, new racetracks for me too. So that's been a little bit of a curveball in there. But we keep working. That's what we do. Tell everybody where they can find out more about Landon Huffman at. Yeah, typically we do a blog over on my YouTube channel, Landon Huffman. If you search that or Landon Huffman Racing. It's the handle. So you can find us there. Uh, we weekly race every Saturday night in my High Rock Vodka 75. And then we go cars for racing in our autos by Nelson 22. So. I uh, didn't do a vlog this weekend. Wanted to shine the light on the car store vlog and hopefully boost those numbers and give you guys uh, a good show. All right, well, that'll put a wrap on the night. Uh, Landon ended up 14th, so the next show is we're going to go pro late model racing. We're going to do a pro late model vlog finally. Katie Hedinger will be the driver at Wake County Speedway for the GXS Routes 100. That'll be Saturday, July 8th, be on flow racing as well. So, uh, great show. Phenomenal crowd here. Uh, Kyle Larson brought a lot of people out, so hopefully it tuned in for the series. So, uh, Y'all know what to do. For more Cars Tour content, like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.